hey you welcome to my channel structural designs in this morning we'll be looking at the concept of moment, res moment of resistance as it is applied to beam elements and this morning we'll be taking a typical simply supported beam such like this this is a simply supported beam of span L subjected to a uniformly distributed load of W kiloniting per meter and in section this is what it looks like um, this is the width of the beam in section this is the overall height and the depth of course there is a clear difference between the height and the depth which is obtained by subtracting the cover to reinforcement and according to our BS code 8110 part 1987 it actually gives the minimum cover to a beam structure 25 mm then we subtract the diameter of our links which are otherwise known as stirrups stirrups then we subtract the diameter of the main reinforcement which is the bottom reinforcement divided by 2 then we obtain the viral depth so for example if this is a 450 by 2 to 5 mm beam this is a 450 by 2 to 5 mm beam to obtain the depth the effective depth it's going to be 450 then we subtract the cover which is 25 we subtract the diameter of links say 10 mm then we subtract half of the bottom reinforcement diameter let's assume it's 16 mm so we subtract 16 divided by 2 so in effect what we have 450 minus 25 minus 10 minus 8 so that is how to obtain the effective depth of any beam section or so in design this is what we rather use and not this okay so back to um, the business moment of resistance the concept of moment of resistance is to safeguard your designs and to make you sure that your structure which you are designing will be able to um, sustain what you're designing for with no um, fallback with no failure and um, let me use a typical example the moment of resistance of a human being you know it varies with age the capacity you can bear vary with your age with your size and maybe with your strength so um, what a person can be at the age of five might be different from what it can be at the age of 20 so the same way we want to liken it to this the concept of the moment of resistance is just the the, 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 the resistance it can be as regard its internal stresses what a beam can sustain the load that the beam can sustain as regard the internal stresses so the moment of resistance of a structure of, a, of, of an element like this with this magnitude 450 by 2 to 5 mm will surely differ from the moment of resistance what the other beam can be at um, 600 by 2 to 5 because um their sizes are different and uh, and all, uh, also their moment of resistance will be different so for a beam structure like this a simply supported beam this is a type of beam, a simply supported beam. To obtain the maximum moment for any simply supported beam, for any simply supported beam, the maximum moment, which I also call the moment applied, moment applied, let's call this MA, let's denote it MA, the moment applied for any simply supported beam can be obtained with this formula ws squared over 8 ws squared over 8 this will give you the maximum moment that can be obtained from this beam structure
as a result of the load that is being applied on it okay so also we also have a, the moment of resistance of which we're talking about moment of resistance of this beam let's denote it as mr can be obtained from the formula is 0 0.156 fcu pd square of which our mcu is the compressive strength strength of concrete of which we know um differs from grades of concrete 20 25 30 35 and so on prescribe describe uh, design mix as and so on <coughs> so depending on the compression of concrete of which um the element is being designed that is where this so it is um, it might change depending on your design where our b as we have shown here is the width width of the beam of the beam then our depth as we have then our depth as we have said here will be the same thing as we have obtained here so that is why we have to lay out the procedure as it is here okay so that is the moment of resistance so in some cases while you are designing your moment applied if moment applied is less than the moment of resistance that is you are safe to continue with the normal procedure of designing and um, it signifies that no no compressive no low compression reinforcement is required that's simply the meaning that no compression reinforcement is required but if otherwise the moment applied is greater than the moment of resistance it signifies that compression reinforcement is required. So in this case, I may choose to continue with my normal design procedure. No. And but for this case, I have to um, create compression reinforcement. I have to cater for a compression replacement because at this point the neutral axis does not lie within the flange again. For a simply supported beam that um that is singly reinforced, we call this um singly reinforced section where no compression reinforcement is required. So every other reinforcement that is found in the compression zone, it's therefore angers. They are called anger bars. So if this is a singly reinforced section. If this is a singly reinforced section, these are the main reinforcements in the tension zone. These are the main reinforcements. And while these are just the anger bars, the anger bars to hold up the stirrups so they are in no wise they are, they, are, they are not as important as the main reinforcement in a singly reinforced section but in a doubly reinforced section the compression reinforcement and the tension reinforcement they are both as important as saying they are whole main reinforcement because the neutral axis does not lie within the flange 
So for this, this is the reason why why we can continue our design safely for singly reinforced section because it still follows this according to our BS code 8110 1997 to designs to principles de designs to code so we have a string and a stress so this is why we can safely continue with our designs with a simply supported beam that the neutral axis lies within the flange and um, in such case in this case of compressive reinforcement being required where your moment applied is greater than your moment of resistance also you will notice that your K which is not supposed to be greater than 0 0.156 for singly reinforced section but now k okay, will be greater than 0 0.156 for doubly reinforced section reinforced section so yes signifies that i need compressive reinforcement yes signifies that i might continue my design without providing for compression so in the um, review sense the conditions lies that when my moment apply is greater than moment of resistance i should provide compressive reinforcement if my moment of resistance is less than the moment of moment of apply moment applied is less than moment of resistance then i might continue with my dis same design so in this case um we create of um we create additional reinforcement in the compression zone so this is one of the stuff to note while we're designing our beam structure and um, once we cater for this we are much more um, at peace that our structures is safe so this is the concept of moment of resistance that we must not keep um, um, of put in concentration while designing um, I hope to see you in the next um, session what we talked about the moment of resistance of a flanked section, a T beam and an L beam. We hope to see you. Thank you.